I still don't know how we got down there. We had no business being there. We weren't registered. Thank God we weren't registered. My Lord, what a hell of a place. But it seemed you couldn't stay there without being registered. Everybody had to have some kind of registration. There was this strange extension of each life under total control in that polished hell. All the people were prisoners or inmates. Everything was compulsory. Each one was continuing in his own little private hell of his former existence without any relief, no surcease, no hope of it ever ending, and yet absolutely all useless. Just about like what the people on earth are doing now. They get up, they go to work, they do the same things every day. They come home, they go to bed. What do they accomplish? The world's getting worse, people are getting worse, and they're not making any progress. What they're doing is not profitable. It is not making any progress or getting anywhere. Everything was not only endless and fruitless and futile, but sort of backwards. I had a feeling things were either inside out or upside down. So peculiar. Part of the time it seemed like a hospital and it was one huge gigantic ship because I remember going out to the stern and looking out and it was all dark and night and the huge ship was moving slowly down this big, black, ominous, scary kind of river. It looked like the river of death. Everything kept moving at a very slow pace but not stopping. It was like everybody was being rewarded with exactly what they deserved. The same useless, fruitless, hopeless, monotonous routine in hell that they are living right now on earth, only under controlled conditions, like a hospital. It was almost like there was no truth there, because you didn't know what to believe. You didn't know what was fact and what was fantasy, because when you got around to one side of the desk, you're behind some of those people. It's like you got around to look at them edge on and they disappear like Polaroid refraction. If you got around to a certain angle edge on, instead of head on or face on, it all disappeared. So you didn't know what was real and what wasn't. We however seemed to be independent spirits they couldn't control. We still had a will of our own and were able to make decisions and do as we pleased and to run and escape if we wanted to. The exit was right behind this big front desk and I couldn't understand why it wasn't guarded. But nobody seemed to know it was there but us, or even be able to find it but us. It was like it was hidden from them and we were the only ones who knew where it was. I had a feeling like we were always on the run because they were searching for us, because we didn't belong there, we were like foreign spirits and not under control like strangers wandering in, and they were concerned about us. We were not prisoners, but they were trying to capture us and control us and trying to guide us. They seemed to be actually afraid of us and concerned about our movements because we were questioning what was going on, trying to analyze it. In other words, it was like if we didn't want to register, we had no business being there. If we didn't want to stay and register and enter in, we couldn't stay if we weren't registered. Like a hotel or a hospital with visitors. Many parts of your city are undergoing heavy spiritual reversal. So there is a lot of dimensional warping going on. Well, one thing I did notice about life in my city is that values have been twisted in the spirit. What you think is up is really down. When you think you are working your way up in the world, you are often actually digging your way down spiritually. Yes, the high places of the proud and powerful, the lofty positions and penthouse apartments in the earth world are not actually closer to God and spirit, but reach down in the opposite direction and are closer to the God of this world, the Prince of the Air, as he is called. 
He loves high places, but since he can't be up there with God anymore, he has caused this reverse world to seem for now to be the real world. Here he can appear to be the highest and greatest, when really he is the lowest. To be where he is, you must go down and away from God. He is king over all the children of pride. He loves to establish himself and his kingdom in high places and among the rich and powerful of the earth, where he can control the most people. Ultimately, he wants to control everything and everyone. And so it seems the spiritual and material worlds are merging. The procedure to register people and all they possess, every house and every item in the material world is almost complete. Everyone, small, great, rich, poor, free and slave, must receive his mark for membership in this integration of hell and earth.